Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to create a policy on our network that will allow certain access into our computers through the firewall. So it's basically a firewall uh, policy and it corresponds to section three of our lab eight, which is uh, our group policy lab. So I have a, a screen here. This is my uh, client computer and I'm going to have a look at the original settings on my firewall. So by default, if, I, if I'm if i to open up um, my firewall, I can see that I have uh, the firewall is on for domain networks, home or work group and public networks. So the policy that I want to create, I, I want to be able uh, to, to actually disable our uh, domain networks because I, I don't want to uh, block any access between our computers. Now this policy that I'm creating, I want, to, uh, I want it to apply to uh, computer accounts, not uh, to use Active Directory users and computers. And to create an OU, you go to computer, right click, and then go to new, compu uh, new organizational unit. And that's where you will add your OU. Now, so I've, I've already added one here and it's called desktops. And to add an object into the OU, uh, you can do it in, in two ways. Now, what I've done, normally when you install, um, when you connect a Windows client computer into the domain, it gets registered under this folder called computers. Now, this is not an organizational unit. This is just a folder. So you cannot apply a group policy to this computer. So what you'll have to do is actually move the computer object from this folder into the organizational unit that you just created. Now to do that, I don't have any uh, computers here now because I just have one computer that's joined to this domain, one, one client machine, and I've already uh, moved it uh, to the desktop uh, OU. So you just right click on the computer and click on move. And this will open up um, this window here where you can select where you want to move it. So if it's currently located in the uh, computers folder and you want to move it into a specific OU, you just click on that OU and you click uh, move and it will move the account. So I've already done mine and it's here. So now I can actually apply a group policy to this organizational unit and it will apply to any object, any computer object that is inside of this organizational unit. Now again, uh, to create the, the, the group policy object, uh, you just come to group policy object, right click and uh, you click on new group policy object. So I've already created one. Now to get to the firewall settings that uh, I want to modify, I'll go to computer configuration policies, Windows settings, this folder that says Windows setting, then security settings here. So policies, Windows settings, security settings, then under security settings, I have this folder called Windows firewall with advanced security. And under that, now I have Windows firewall with advanced security again here and this is what I want to uh, access so I'm gonna go ahead and click on Windows firewall properties and I can see uh, it will it will pop this uh, window up here and I have so what I want to do is to click on here the state of the firewall I want to uh, keep it off and the inbound connections I also have want to allow I want to allow everything and outbound connections I want to allow everything now this is my now, um, so in, in our private uh, profile, we leave it as not configured, not configured, we leave it the default setting is, is on and uh, so is the public. And uh, I wanna go ahead and click on apply. You'll now see that the domain uh, profile is set to off, but the, the private and the public uh, remains the same. So our domain profile is off, that's great. Now, what I wanna do is go ahead and create some inbound rules. So now um, I click on uh, right at the bottom here. I have inbound and outbound rules. I can say inbound. So inbound rules apply to anything that wants to get access into your computer. So I click on inbound rules and then I uh, go ahead and right click uh, on the empty space here. I right click and say new rule. Then it asks, it uh, brings up a wizard and asks me, okay, do I want to uh, uh, allow inbound access for a, a program, a port? Uh, predefined or custom these are my four options uh, if I click on uh, predefined 
I have a, a bunch of predefined uh, services here. Okay, this is a list of um, uh, services, and I want to allow, uh, let's say, file and printer sharing. Uh, so I have file and printer sharing here. I can just click on add, and that will allow the pre um, access, uh, allow this uh, um, computer uh, inbound. It will allow inbound rules into this computer for file and printer sharing. So click, go ahead and click on next, and uh, but so it will. Uh, enable all of these uh, rules click next I want to allow the connection I can also block it but I don't want to block it I just want to allow it and click finish and you can see that it added all of these rules now to uh, add another rule I can go add a new rule and here I can select a program or I can select a port um, let's say for example that I want to uh, I have a, a, a custom application that's uh, running on my computer and that computer is, is, is using like a custom port I can just select port and I click next and now it's gonna ask me for if it's a TCP or a UDP port and what is this specific port so what I can do is I can uh, select one port, I can select multiple ports, or I can select a range of ports. And the example is just down at the bottom here. So I'm going to go ahead and allow a TCP port, and I'll uh, do a range of ports, say from 4000 uh, to 4002. So I'm, a, I'm allowing access for three ports. I'm allowing access for 4000, 4001, and 4002 inbound to my computer click on next and I want to allow the connection and I click next and it asks me on where do I which profile do I want to apply this rule so do you want it on domain private or public so I'll leave all um, I'll leave that as the default that I want to allow it from all locations from the domain from private and from public and click next and the rule name I could I'll have to enter a rule name So here I've, uh, I've given the, the application a name, I've just called it my app. Uh, of course, you're, uh, you can uh, choose any name uh, that is suitable to your application and click on finish. And here we can see that the, the rule has been added. And uh, if you uh, double click on that rule and you click on the ports and protocol, you see TCP IP is a protocol that has been enabled and I'm allowing specific ports and this is the range of ports I'm allowing from 4000 to 4002 okay and um, it says all all ports as the remote port and just click on OK so we have all of these uh, ports open up uh, to our computer so once we have completed uh, adding all these rules to our group policy, just go ahead and uh, close our, uh, our group policy. And uh, we'll now have to apply this group policy uh, to the specific organizational unit that uh, contains our uh, computer account. Um, so now go ahead and uh, right click and refresh the group policy and we can see that the settings uh, that, that we have just added uh, is now there. These are all the settings and um, we just check to make sure that the GP uh, that the GPO status is enabled um, and it's applied to our computer account so under security filtering what we want to do is to apply this this uh, um, group policy to our computer account so to do that we click on add and we just type our computer account now by default if we type our computer account here it will not find a computer account because by default it is not looking for the computer object so to change this we need to uh, click on object types and put a check mark in computers here and click OK now my computer is uh, the the computer that I wanted to get applied to is, is called win 7 lab click OK and uh, it, it uh, found the name of the computer click on OK and the computer account is there 
So now the next thing is I'll have to go ahead and uh, link this group policy to the organizational unit that I wanted to get applied to. So I'm going to go ahead and right click here and say link an existing GPO and I select my uh, group policy that I just created which is firewall exception click on OK and now uh, it's linked and I'll just right click and click on enforced say yes. Now this is my uh, client machine uh, I'm still logged in so the uh, policy has not taken uh, effect I'll have to either log off restart or uh, run the gp update uh, uh, far slash uh, force from um, command from the command line and then the policy will um, i'll get a message saying that a uh, new policy has been detected i'll have to either log off or restart the computer so you can see that the uh, the domain um, uh, profile is still uh, on and um, so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, run that uh, command and it is uh, GP update forward slash force and uh, this should take uh, about a minute or so or, or less to run okay so it says that the uh, that the computer update that, that the that it has completed successfully and uh, I need to log off for it to apply that group policy. So do I want to log off? I just want to say yes. And I'm going to log back in. So once I log back in, I'll go ahead and check my uh, group policy um, to see if the group policy made any uh, changes to my network firewall. So I open up here, I go to uh, policies and now I can see that uh, my domain network is off and my public and home network is still is still on. So those two profiles, the, uh, the, the firewall is still active on those two, two profiles and my domain uh, network now is off. So the next thing that we have to check on our uh, firewall rule to see if it worked is uh, we need to go to the advanced heading and uh, have a look at the inbound rules to see if uh, the um, the custom ports uh, from 4000 to 4002 has been opened and also if file and printer sharing uh, is enabled. Um, so to get to the uh, to the inbound outbound rule just click on advanced settings and uh, this opens up the um, the advanced setting of the firewall where you can go and add and uh, remove um, uh, rules and uh, inbound or, or outbound. So we did inbound rules so click on inbound and uh, let's have a look and see if um, if our uh, uh, ports are there. So here is my app this is the uh, firewall that I um, this is the rule that is set in my uh, firewall to open up these ports. If you double click on it um, so that's the name of the application. I'll have to go to uh, por ports, protocols and ports to see the details of uh, what's being opened. So it, uh, the protocol is, is uh, TCP and uh, it is 4000 to 4002. And notice that it's actually grayed out. So once it's grayed out, I cannot make any change or the user cannot make any change on this machine because uh, the only change that can be made on this rule is for the administrator to change it directly in the group policy itself so you you're not able to make any uh, uh, change on it uh, the next um, firewall rule that we um, created in Mung to this machine was um, the file and printer sharing so now if you scroll down a little bit here you will see all the uh, file and printer sharing access has been enabled here okay so from that we can see that uh, our uh, firewall um, the all the rules that we have added uh, in our uh, group policy and apply to this computer account is working 